this Cantonese noodle house favorite is smoky and incredibly tasty. Tender slices of beef stir fried with some chewy rice noodles. Everyone loves this. Hey everyone, I'm Flo, dude is behind the camera and we're all about simple food, simple faith. Gan chao ngao ha. This is absolutely one of my all time favorites. You can find this in every Cantonese noodle house. When I was traveling once in London, UK, I was craving Chinese food because I had already been touring Europe for a couple of weeks. And I went into a Chinese restaurant and there on the menu was this stir fried beef rice noodle dish that I was so craving. This recipe is really simple and easy to make at home. The only thing that you may not get at home is the smokiness that you'll get in the restaurants. It really does take a really, really hot walk to get that really smoky flavor, but we're gonna get you about 90% of the way there and it's gonna be delicious. I have eight ounces of steak that I've already sliced up into a thinly sliced pieces and we're gonna marinate that first. I'm using a sirloin cap steak today. I'm adding one teaspoon of oil, using avocado oil, you can use vegetable oil, canola oil, just use a neutral tasting oil. One teaspoon of Shaoxing wine. Shaoxing wine is just a rice wine. You can use regular rice wine if you like, or you can use sherry, you can omit it altogether if you don't wanna use wine and just use an extra teaspoon of soy sauce and one teaspoon of regular soy sauce. Also adding a teaspoon of cornstarch. This will help to velvet the meat. And velveting just adds to the mouthfeel of the beef. It's, well, it's velvety and tender. We're just gonna let this marinate for about half an hour while you prepare the remaining ingredients. I'm gonna use about half a onion. Well, I have about two thirds of an onion because that's what I have in the fridge. I'm gonna use the whole thing. And just sliced. I like to slice it from top to bottom. So I find that it holds its shape better. I'm just gonna set this aside. I'm using one green onion as well. Just cut off the ends. You know, I've been planting these in the garden and I've been able to use a whole lot of green onions I haven't, didn't have to buy this summer, which has been really nice. Um, I'm going to add this to the white onion that I'm gonna cook. And then the rest I'm just gonna cut into two inch pieces. I have a small nub of ginger that I'm gonna smash. I just want the flavor, so. Smash it down a little bit. Just add it to my little plate of stuff to add to the wok later. We're gonna make our sauce now. I have an eighth of a teaspoon of white sugar. That's to help to balance out the flavors. And we're adding two tablespoons of soy sauce or light soy sauce. One tablespoon of dark soy sauce. and one tablespoon of Shaoxing wine. Just to dissolve the sugar and set this aside. I have about two pounds of fresh rice noodles. They come in sheets. They also come already cut. I like to buy them in sheets so, I'm gonna, so that I can cut them myself into the width I like. I'm gonna cut them about an inch wide we're really lucky to have this woman that makes these fresh every single day. But you can find these in the refrigerated section of your Asian supermarket. And if you can't find them fresh, you can always rehydrate the dried. And these are rice noodles. It's also called ho fun. Once you've sliced them, you do have to separate them a little bit. You don't have to separate every single layer, but separate them about every three to four layers. Otherwise, it's hard to separate when you're cooking. 
Uh, please excuse our wild animals. <laughs> we do live in a zoo. If you're buying the refrigerated ones, often they may be kind of hard, so you will have to warm them up before you use them, either in the microwave or uh, blanch them in a pot of boiling water, but just for a couple of seconds. It doesn't take long. I wish I could say I can't be bothered and skip this part, but this part is really important. Otherwise, you're going to get this giant clump of noodles that you can't stir fry and it will just be disastrous. Don't do that. And also about four ounces of bean sprouts. All right, turning on my wok, medium high. If you don't have a wok, you can use a very large frying pan. I like using a wok because it's easy to stir. Once you see that wisp of smoke, you can add your oil. I'm adding one tablespoon of avocado oil. That around. And add your beef. I'm going to let it sear for about a minute. Try to sear the other side. Just turning off the heat because I can't work fast enough. I'm going to remove the beef. It's about 80% cooked through. Turning my wok back on to medium. Adding two tablespoons of oil. Adding my ginger. We want to infuse the oil with the ginger flavor. Adding my onion, the white part. Stir fry that for 11 minutes. I'm going to remove that ginger, push the onion off to the side a little bit, and we're going to add our noodles. Toss this around a little bit. So this is where the wok hay would come in really handy. I know in Vancouver we actually have homes with wok kitchens. I don't know if that's like a common thing anywhere else, but I'm like one day, I'm gonna have a wok kitchen where I can like turn up the heat. Okay, adding the sauce. Now the dark soy sauce will give it the brown color, the deeper brown color that you see. Regular soy sauce just doesn't give you that dark of a color. And I think depending on your brand of soy sauce as well, it could be even darker than this. It just depends. And stir fry until the noodles are heated through. And if you're using enough oil and a, a good seasoned wok, the noodles shouldn't stick to the bottom. Adding the bean sprouts and the beef back in along with any of the drippings. it all together. My goodness, looks and smells so good. I just want the bean sprouts to be cooked through. Just take about a minute or two. Okay, turning off the heat, adding the green onions. Another stir. All right. At the mall food court today, I saw that this dish was thirteen fifty. If I were to order this in a restaurant, it would be about eighteen twenty bucks. You definitely don't get as much as I'm making today, so I probably spent. $10 on all of the ingredients. 
The fresh noodles were about four bucks. The steak was probably about five. The bean sprouts were like 35 cents. You can do the math. Are you all ready for? Oh, most definitely. Guys, this is a lot of food. Dining out is getting more expensive, but it doesn't mean that you can't rock those same flavors at home. So look at this thing. This is awesome. Yeah, we're spoiled by the fresh noodles, but guys, you can still get the noodles that you can get and it's gonna be awesome. You know, it's not the same uh, level of wok hay as in the restaurants, but it's pretty darn good. Mmm. Chewy noodles, the mouthfeel with the bean sprouts and onion together with the noodles. Love it. Oh, tender beef, yes. And lastly, all together. Yeah. All right, thanks dude. All right guys, you guys have to try this. It's really simple to make. Eat well, save money. For other Cantonese, very easy recipes, check it out. I will see you over there.